King Bob Tech comes in with an excellent comment, and I have something to say about it. I know you're shocked. He goes, I know I shouldn't have bought my 3900K in 4090 since a better upgrade path is available via AM5, but by the time I'm ready for my next upgrade, I'm sure AM6 will be here. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Absolutely. You do not need to upgrade just because something new and shiny came out. Seriously. Even now, it is true that AM4 had an amazing upgrade path. Mm -hmm. Zen 1 to Zen Plus to Zen 2 to Zen 3. AMD had a lot of catching up to do. Yes. But the fact of the matter is, a 5700X is double the performance of a 1700X. Single core, multi core, everything is double across the board. Which is why we've been telling people to upgrade if they are on that. I am not convinced, based upon what I've seen so far, that AM5 will ever get that much boost. If you have, for the sake of discussion, a Ryzen 9 7950X, the last whatever seven, well, I guess it'll be 9900, 9950X. Yep, be something like that. Zen 6. What are they gonna do when they hit the ones? Do like, the same thing Intel did, go to a stupid five digit that, product number. Yeah, probably. In any case, so I don't know that Zen, that AM5, yes, it's confusing, will ever get a straight doubling of performance. It might. I think people might be disappointed in that. I think that it's going to take a socket change to get doubling of performance. Zen, Zen 3 from Zen 1 was kind of a once in a generational thing. It, it was you, we won't see that again for a long time. And it's been a long time since we saw that boost. Back in the 2000s, from Pentium 4 to Core 2 to i7-920, that in just the Pentium 4... D's with two cores in 2005 mm -hmm. to the i7 9 uh, to the i7 920 20. in 2008 in just three, three years. years that was massive what from two cores to four cores it went from two single core chips glued together on the Pentium D to a true four core monolithic design it went from two cores two threads to well, so the Extreme Edition had hyper-threading, but the regular one did. It was just two cores, two right. threads, no hyper-threading. Right. So it went from two threads to eight threads. Clock speed didn't climb all that much, but man, IPC sure did. I mean, the instructions, the, the, the performance. Right. Nobody would confuse a Pentium 4 with an i7-920. Hang on. Whoosh, fish. <laughs> Smack you upside the head. Now, we got that with AM4. Mm -hmm. uh, 1700X to 5700X is double. And it took four years to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, five if you count on the 5700X, 5800X in yeah, 2020, I, I, whatever. I know, I know what you mean. You get the point. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. I don't think the current chips are going to do it. I think we're going to have a brief pause. I think we'll get Zen 5 on AM5, and it'll be 20 to 30% faster. And then we'll get Zen 6, which will probably be another 20 to 30% faster. So we'll be looking at maybe 50 to 70% faster 
with the best of AM5, and then it's gone, and the AM6 will be out. Yeah. And since it's not double, yeah, it's an upgrade, it's but it's really only an upgrade for people who have a Ryzen 5 7600X or Ryzen 7 7700X who are going to a 12 or 16 core chip and moving up the Zen levels. So if you buy the Ryzen 9, you may not have an upgrade. I mean, we have a tech review channel. We'll do it because that's what we do for a living. But I don't think most people should probably consider doing that. Mm. Which means it doesn't actually matter whether you buy a 13900K or a 7950X. Yeah. I don't think most people will upgrade them. So who cares? And they're both great. They're both really fast. They're both really nice. So everybody with a, with a Raptor Lite can skip the next socket. And wait till 2026 at the soonest, which will be 17th gen, which will be basically leapfrogging. So, so with Intel, you skip sockets. Correct. With AMD, we don't have enough of a track record to know what to do. Correct. What do you want to add to that? Don't upgrade every other year. It's a waste of money. Enjoy your computer game on. Yeah, game on. He has a great, he, has, he can play anything he wants for years to come yeah. and not care. At least four years. Maybe he'll do a GPU upgrade if he's super premium. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But other than that. Yeah, just enjoy it. Thank you very much for the support.